Here is question number 3. Let's try to understand how to graph this piecewise function. Okay. The function is fx equals 2 x plus 2 if x is between minus infinity and 0 where 0 is included in this part. The second part is a parabola x squared minus 5 when x is between 0 and 3. 3 is included not 0. And then we have a square root function. 2 times square root of 2x plus 3 minus 2 where x is greater than 3. So we have three different pieces joined together and let's try to understand how these pieces look like and then we'll draw them on a graph okay so let's try to make a rough picture of this so here is kind of a coordinate system which is divided into three parts the three pieces one piece is here which is up to zero so this is our one part okay the second part is from zero to three let's say this is our zero to three part and then the third from 3 to infinity. Here at 0 the point is 0 is included but you can never include minus infinity. It is a straight line and straight line is basically like this. Square root function will look like this correct or a square function x square minus 5 will look like this and square root function will look like this. So these are three functions uh, which should be joined together to form f of x right now to draw a line you just need two points for a parabola if you get a vertex is good here the steps will be 1 3 5 7 or you can find a set of points it's only interval 0 to 3 so you can find few points and for a square root points are 0 0 and then put one and then get yeah when we are saying sketching a rough sketch will also do okay Let's start with the first linear function, so, which is this half of our coordinate system. Here, x equals to 0 will give us what? x equals to 0 will give us value 2. So we are kind of here. We are just making a rough sketch here. right? We are kind of here. Now, and then we have to move on the left side. Let's put x equals to minus 2, which will be our x-intercept. And so we get a line like this. Is it OK? Now, for a parabola, we have to put x equals to 0 in this equation. If you put x equals to 0, 0 square minus 5. So you get a point minus 5. So let's say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, somewhere here, right? But this point is not included. So you have to make a hole here, right? And then we have to go up to 3. At 3, the value will be 3 squared is 9. 9 minus 5 is 4. So at 3, the value is around 4. So it is around here. So it should end here like this. So that's our end point. In between we have to figure out more points. Let's take 1. 1 square minus 5 is minus 4. So from here we get here right like this. 2. 2 square is 4. 4 minus 5 is minus 1. So we get here. So these points are enough and we just join them together. Is that okay? So that's our parabola. And now square root. It starts at 3. Let's put 3 here. So if you put 3 here, 3 times 2 is 6, 6 plus 3 is 9, square root of 9 is 3, 3 times 2 is 11, 11 minus 2 is 9. Oh my god. Sorry, it's something wrong. 3 times 2 is 6, 6 plus 3 is 9, square root of 9 is 3, 3 times 2 is 6, 6 minus 2 is 4. So we come here at 4. So at this point 3, we land up with a value 4, but which is not included, right? Plus 4, sorry. So plus 4 is here only, right? Plus 4. And then a square root function we can draw like this. So our per, a function will kind of look like this. So now, I think you've understood how we should be drawing it. And this is our rough work. We did some mistakes. That that will always happen. But then you have to review, okay? So this is not correct. That is correct. Now, what we should do actually is, now we got a rough sketch. Then we can some point find some points right let's find some points so we got three parts let's divide it into three parts is that okay so the first one for us is basically x plus 2 that's a function and the region is from minus infinity to 0 where 0 is included right 
So let's take a point at 0 first, which is included. If I write 0 here for x value, then I get 2 as my y value. Here it is, correct? Now since this is included, I'll put a square bracket here. Just to show that this point is this point is included, okay? Do you understand why I did like this? I know these are my coordinate points, but I want to be specific, right? Kind of including them, 0 and 2. So at 0, I have point 2, which I'm going to fill this. This is my 0, 2 point. Now we have to move towards left. So that means we can take minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. Minus 2 is a good point to take. So I'll take minus 2 point, right? At minus 2, this point is 0. Minus 2 plus 2 is 0. So here. So that's my coordinate, right? Now, what I'm trying to say is kind of included, right? Okay. I'm not repeating that. So minus 2, it is 0. And that's my straight line. So what I will do is, uh, because it's a straight line, and I have to just sketch. Sketch means a rough sketch. So I'll just draw like this. Is it okay? Yeah. I could have gone by slope also, right? like this steps of one okay now we are done the first part second is our function x square minus five and the interval is we are not including zero but we are including three is it okay now the first point is at zero so if i put zero here i get zero square is zero zero minus five is minus five so at zero my value is minus five and here this is not included right so I'm just writing like this. So this is kind of included. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? This is not included. Just leave it like this. First point is critical. 0 minus 5. Let me use ink here, right? So we got this point 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and not included. That makes it very clear, right? Now, we have to go till 3. So let's see what we can. We have got just 3 values. We can plug in and get all the three points, right? So we can say 1, 1 minus 5 is minus 4. And for 2, 2 squared is 4. We get minus 5. And for 3, we get 3 squared is 9. 9 minus 5 is 4. And uh, all these are included, but this one is like kind of last point, which is included. So 3, 4 is our last point, which is included, right? So we go 1, 2, 3. And one, two, three, four, and that's this is kind of an important point for us. Now one minus four, one minus four, <laughs> two minus one, and three. So we'll join these points and get the middle part, and which is a parabola. Now the last part, which is square root function, right? Two square root two x plus three minus two, right? <clears throat> and the interval is from three to infinity correct let's take so the point at three should be which is not included which is a whole uh, whole right three times two is six right let's write three for x well six plus three is nine and square root of nine is three so three times two six six minus two four so that's our first point which is not included right three and four 1, 2, 3, and then 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm making like this, but you see, it is connecting. It is overlapping to the second piece. So here, the function is continuous, okay? Now, let's go ahead and let's put 1 more than 3. Let's say 4. 4 times 2 is 8, 9, 10, 11. Square root of 11 is very difficult to find, but more than 3, right? So let's say 3 point something. So more than 3, we'll say 3 plus. Plus 2 is 6 plus and minus 2 is 4 plus, right? So we'll just write 4 plus, slightly more than 4. And then draw our graph, okay? This is sketch. So we are saying this is like 4 plus, slightly more than 4. So I'm going from here to like this. Do you understand? So that's my later half, the third piece. And that is how I'm going to draw my sketch. It is a good practice to write x and f of x here and that's it and mark your point sometimes the scale could be different right so we are saying this is one and this is minus one that's the kind of scale we have and here we have a piecewise function now let me also tell you that this function has two kinds of one kind of discontinuity 
this piece doesn't overlap right so this is called so at x equals to 0 we have a jump discontinuity however at x equals to 3 the function is continuous correct at times the problem is to you find out whether the function is continuous or not continuous algebraically right so in that case what we do is we just plug in the value it could be discontinuous at these values right 3 3 and 3 so plug in 3 calculates so you see when you plug in 3 as we did we got 4 and here also when you plug in 3 again we got 4 since these two points overlap right so the hole gets filled up and so the function becomes continuous do you see that that's how it is and in the first part if I put 0 here I get 2 so at 0 I get 2 right but if I put 0 here I get minus 5 these two do you see these two they are not connected at 0 I have 2 and at 0 I got minus 5 two different y values do you see that so here we have at 0 2 and here I have minus 5 so there is a jump discontinuity so that is how we have to see the pieces at times I have also seen a problem written in a different way I will like to change this and show you what way sometimes they will write this function they will write 2 square root of 2x plus 3 minus let's say k and the question will be find the value of k that will ma make this function continuous at 3 x equals to 3 in that case find use k right when you use k here you'll get something k here right <laughs> you get k here got it so then in that case let me do it so if i put at 3 here i get 3 square is 9 so f of 3 will be so we will do like this. i'll just mess it up f of 3 from here will give us 3 square minus 5 which is 9 minus 5 as 4 now this function it will have a hole at 3 right so the hole should actually fall on this point then it becomes continuous right so I'll put 3 here so if I do 3 here then I got 2 times square root of 2 times 3 plus 3 minus k is it okay now this value should be equal to 4 to make the function continuous correct so what is this value 2 times 3 is 6 6 plus 3 is 9 square root of 9 is 3 and then we 2 times 3 6 6 minus so much 6 minus k should be equals to 4 right solve for k take k this side 6 minus 4 equals to k and say k equals to 2 so for k equals to 2 that function will become continuous you see we took and we saw it did right so that could be another variation to the same problem understand so that is how the same question could be asked in many different ways okay I hope you understand the concept with this you should be an expert in piecewise functions if you like it put your comments right and uh, do well all the best thanks